Hey guys, how you keeping? My name's David Haynes, and in this quick tips video, we're gonna be looking at how to perfect the low dive technique. The low dive is a fundamental technique for us goalkeepers. It's an explosive movement to help us cover a large distance at a lightning speed. We're going to break down the diving movement into five simple steps so that you're able to replicate them at home. I'll also provide tips so that you can dive safely without hurting yourself. As always, with these tips and with practice, you'll be making match winning saves. The ready position. All actions start with the ready position. Your feet should be shoulder width apart, knees bent, weight slightly forward and on your toes. From this position, you can react to anything. The power step. From the ready position, we are then able to perform the power step. We step in the direction we wish to dive and towards the ball with the closest foot. Plant this foot at a 45 degree angle as this will help us maintain the correct technique and generate forward positive momentum. It's also worth noting that the opposite foot remains still. The sink and coil. Your weight should be almost entirely on the planted foot. Sink into this step which will lower your body and in doing so coil yourself like a pressurized spring ready to explode. As you are already low, this will enable you to focus the explosion of power to the side. An important thing to keep in mind, do not move diagonally or flop into a low dive. Instead, think of it as an L-shaped movement. Low first and then across. The explosion. Using the power generated from your bent knee, you will be able to explode out to the side. Lead with your arms, shoulders and chest and push yourself like an arrow through the air. Make sure that you land on your lateral muscles to avoid hurting yourself. Do not twist or land on your stomach as you could possibly hurt yourself and it will negatively impact the technique. To illustrate this further, take a look at this clip from when I was diving around in the mud and rain. The muddy stains clearly show the areas of my body that land on the ground when I dive. Notice my chest and stomach areas are perfectly clean. Box hands. Try to get both hands to the ball and form a protective box around it. Your top hand acts as the roof, the lower hand is the backstop and the ground acts as the floor to the box. This is also called the three hand technique as there are three pressure points securing the ball. The key to safely securing the ball is to have enough strength in your wrists to tame the shot, whilst also having soft hands that give a little to absorb the momentum. If you are unable to get both hands to the ball, then look to make strong contact with one hand and firmly push the ball away to the side. If this has been beneficial, and if you're a number one, then be sure to subscribe. On this channel, I host the Goalkeeper Club, a weekly show dedicated to us goalkeepers, offering more tips, showing incredible videos, product reviews, and everything a goalkeeper needs. So go on, join the club right now. I want to let the Goalkeeper Club members and everyone else know about Glove Glue. Has the ball ever slipped through your hands during a match when everyone's watching? It's a terrible feeling. But fortunately, I've found a product that can instantly improve our goalkeeping with one quick spray. Check out Glove Glue, the link is in the description. Consider supporting this channel by picking yourself up a bottle today.